Welcome back to Myths, Legends, Stories, and Tales with Lady Leoden. Today, we're going to read another Irish fairy tale. It is How Cuckalain Got His Name by Una Levy and Susan Field. Long ago, there lived a king in Ulster named called Conan Magnessa. His warriors were, were known as the Red Branch Knights. The king himself trained them on his own, in his own special school. They could run faster, jump higher, and fight more fiercely than anyone else. The king had a nephew named Satanta. Ever since he was little, the little bo the boy had heard about the Red Branch Knights. He could hardly wait to grow up so that he could become one himself. I am tall and strong, he said to his mother one day. I want to go to Ulster to join the Red Branch Knights. No, no, my son, his mother answered. You are still only a little boy. I cannot let you go. You would, I would miss you too much. For a while, Satanta was happy. He tracked wild animals in the wood and knew the song of every bird. Sometimes he made hurly, made hurly sticks from sp the springy wood ash wood. He and his friends played together, whacking a ball with their sticks. Satanta's team always won. He hit the ball harder than anyone else and could run like the wind. A year passed, and Satanta grew restless again. I am ten years old now, he said to his father one day. I can run fast, and I'm very strong. I want to go to Ulster to re join the Red Branch Knights. No, no, my son, the father, his father answered. You are still too young. You must wait until you are older. For a while, Satanta was content. content. He milked the cows and kept the sheep from straying. He gathered firewood and carried water for the house. When winter came, there were no games. There were games of chess that went on for hours. At night, he listened to the old people telling their ancient tales. One autumn evening, a stranger came to the gate. I have come from the north, he said, from the court of Conor Magnessa. I seek shelter for the night. Satanta was delighted. Quickly he, quickly, he took the stranger to his father. Of course, you are, a thousand time, you are a thousand times welcome. Come and sit by the fire. We will have music and storytelling this night. Soon the house was packed with neighbors and relations. Everyone wanted to hear the traveler's news. All he talked of was Connor Mac King Connor Macnessa and his brave warriors. His songs praised them, and he recited the history of the king's family for many generations. Satanta listened, his heart thumping with excitement. In his ears he could hear only the roar of battle and the warriors' fearless cries. I must go and join the Bread Branch Knight, he burst out at last. My uncle needs me. I'm old enough now. I'm strong enough now. But the stranger laughed. You're only a child, he said. You would be smashed to pieces in battle and thrown aside. At last, everyone settled down for the night. Satata could not sleep. He lay watching the sparks as they flew up into the darkness. And where, where they got, and where they, and were lost among the stars. It's no good. He, he thought at last. I just can't wait another night. Silently, he rolled onto his feet, stopping only to pick up his hurley and ball. Outside was the first hushed light of a misty dawn. All day he traveled, ta taking directions from the sun. He did not go by the usual paths, but kept to remote hills and sheep tracks. Now no one could follow him. Now no one could follow him. In the evening, when he reached 
It was evening when he reached King Connor, Mac King Connor MacNessus' fort. Just in front of it swept a great wide lawn. There was a hurling match going on, on and almost at once the ball dropped at Satanta's feet. He scooped it up with his hurley and ran. The players were all big boys. They tried to tackle him, but he was too fast, whirling past them till the ball was in the, in the goal. There was a mighty roar. A, a row broke out among the boys. Some of them attacked him. Satanta defended himself as well as he could. Stop, shouted the king's voice. What is happening here, and who is this child? I am your nephew, Satanta replied. I have come to join the Red Branch Knights. Well, laughed King Connor, you are only a little man, but if you always fight as, brave, as bravely, some day you will be the leader of my army. So Satanta was allowed to stay. Satanta soon settled into his new life. He learned to fight like a stag and move as silently as the clever red fox. But he learned, too, about loyalty, honor, and truth. Connor was a strict master, and only the most promising boys were allowed to remain. One evening, Satanta was hurling with his new friends. King Connor called to him. Kulain, the blacksmith has, has prepared a feast, he explained. I am going there now. Would you like to come? Satanta had heard a lot about Kulain. He was as strong as a giant, the greatest blacksmith in the land. He gave wonderful feasts. It would be nice to hear some music and have a little fun. I would love to come, Satanta said. But I am in the middle of a game. I will follow you later. It won't be dark for a long time. Very well, said the king, and off he went to his royal chariot. The game was long and hectic. Satanta quite forgot about the time. The sun was going down when he scored the winning goal. I must hurry, he thought, as he washed and changed. It will soon be dark, and it's a long walk. I'm not even sure of the way. He set off, following the tracks of the chariot wheels. There was no proper road, and soon it was almost dark. Trees creaked eerily in the shadows, and rocks took on strange shapes. Old tales of ghosts and spirits whispered in his head. Once or twice, a wolf howled, and owls skimmed overhead. But Satanta would not admit that he was afraid. He whistled a cheerful tune and tried to t see how well he could balance his hurley and ball. It began to rain. A, a shivery wind trembled in the trees as the last of the light disappeared. Satanta grew cold and wet. He wished he was at home. Meanwhile, at Kulain's house, there was music and dancing. Mead and wine flowed from every cup. Roast pig and fresh oat cakes were piled on every plate. The room was smoky and hot. Kulain's beautiful sisters tended their guests. The king could not take his eyes off of them. As the night went on, he grew sleepy with food and wine. He did not notice the rising wind or the rain that poured down outside. It's a terrible night, Kulain said. I will call my sentries. All my guests are here. My hound will guard instead. He is a vicious killer, and no enemy will enter my ga gates. But King Hawk Connor was not listening. His eyes on the beautiful girls. At last, Satanta saw lights ahead. He was cold, tired, and hungry. He could not wait to get inside. He smiled to himself as the noise and music flowed across the night. The gates were closed, but he climbed easily. 
and dropped into the yard. Immediately, there was a murderous snarl. Satanta stood absolutely still. Two wicked eyes glittered in the shadows. It was Kulain's dog, half hound, half wolf. Satanta gripped his hurley. Wild thoughts tumbled through his head. He knew that this dog would eat him alive. There was only one chance. As the dog hurtled towards him, eyes raging, mouth snarling, Satanta took careful aim and rammed the ball down the hound's gaping throat. With a fearful screech, the dog crashed to the ground, choking and gasping as he tried to cough up the ball, but it was firmly stuck. With one last mighty shudder, he tossed his head and died. The door crashed open. Kulain and King Connor had heard the dog's wild cries. My hound! shouted Kulain. Satanta! yelled the king, suddenly remembering. He dashed out, afraid of what he might find. But there was Satanta with the dog dead at his feet. I'm glad you're safe, said Kulain at last. But I am sad to lose my poor faithful hound. He served me long and and he served me long and well. Satanta stepped forward. I am sorry I had to kill your dog, he said. But if you will let me, I will be your hound. I will guard your home with my life. King Connor and Kulain agreed. Soon Satanta had another name. He was called Kut Kulain which means Kulain's Hound. This was his name ever after when he became the best and most famous warriors of the Red Branch Knights. You think Satanta was pretty clever? I think it's a pretty cool story. What did you think? That's all the time we have for today. We'll see you next time. <laughs>